Take us back to the playing days. One of the scenes I often see ahead of a big match, a player coming off the bus, got the headphones on, mm. focused, looking forward to the match. What was on the iPod or the start of your career, the Walkman, when you were, uh, <laughs> when you were getting ready for a big game? <laughs> Um, I, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't a big Walkman listener in, back in the day. Um, but there was one song that stuck out, and it was um, "Kryptonite" by Three Doors Down. And um, yeah, there's a couple of people who know this. Some old people. <laughs> so Thank goodness. <laughs> Some of the older folk in the car. <laughs> and, and for some reason, I took to that song. And I thought, well, everybody else is doing it. It must work. So you know, I had a song of choice. And I put that on. But it was very different in England as opposed to South Africa, the preparation before a game in, in South way? Africa. Well, I'd say in the change room in South Africa, I don't know if it's still like that, but it was very subdued, very quiet. You'd say a little prayer, usually as a group, as a team. You know, then after the prayer, two minutes before you went out, the guys would normally G themselves up. In England, you arrive in the change room and you'd expect quiet and calm. Now, there's probably some music going, but there is a lot of swearing going on. There's a <laughs> lot of effing and blinding and hitting walls and smashing each other around. I was more scared of my own team for the first <laughs> two months than I was of the opposition. I didn't know what was happening. My eyes were this big. But um, we've chilled, I think, over the years at Saracen, so it's, it's a lot calmer, so, which, is, which is good.